Quickly, please. Thank you. Frame four. Marco Futebre. One or two of the Quietly, please. Thank fans you. caught on the hop here as Marco Fu breaks off with a number of the audience doing their Usain Bolt impressions to reclaim their seats. But Fu will be delighted with that 70 break in the previous frame. By far and away, the most fluent we've seen in the match so far. Fu back in front at 2-1. This is the final frame before the mid-session break. Well, the attempted Cliff Thorburn-esque two-cushion escape, but he caught it way too thick. And I believe in playing that shot if you need to play it, but he could have come off the cushion, landed up into the reds with no risk. Jones is playing that two-cushion escape, and if you catch him thick, the cue ball stays down this end of the table, and I'm just not convinced he needed to play that type of shot then. It could be costly. Marco Fu already got his hand. I'm going. He's got his eye in, as they say. One. The last thing Bingham needed was to leave Fu an easy starter at the beginning of the fourth frame after he won the third so convincingly. And that is a lot more positive. And Marco Fu could have played for the loose reds, but chose to open them up. Eight. He's on a red to the right corner. Just looking to see if he can play the cannon and get back to the black. Nine. And that's OK. Twenty-four. Twenty-five. Thirty-two. Well, a bit early to be thinking about a 147, but Marco Fu has certainly stepped on the gas in the last frame and a bit. Well, if he's going to get it, he's going to have to play this red to the green pocket. The other red, the easy one, to the right corner. He has to go up for the blue. But he's got his eye in.
40. Well, is he straight enough on this red? Play for the black. Yes, he is. 41. Forty-eight. Fifty-six. Yes, yeah, just about come far enough. To get back to the black again. Well, potted that one. 57. A little thick. And slews in the cue ball. So may have to go up for that red just above the blue. Very nearly missed this red. No, he's held it. For the red by the pink spot. So the break goes to 64. 64. Still needs a couple of reds though to get the frame safe. That's a nice little kiss on the red. Left him with choice of reds. 72. Couldn't have worked out any better that kiss. <coughs> 73. The frame is safe, but there's no question that Marco Fu will have his eyes on an even bigger prize here. made two maximum breaks and holds the accolade for having the first ever maximum to be made live on the internet. 80. To make one at the Masters would be special. A long way to go. But the Reds are open. 81. Now this time he may play up for that red by the blue. And he's going to get the cue ball somewhere round about where the yellow is. Hasn't gone far enough. Or has he? Yes, he has. That cue ball just run on. Didn't want the flick on the blue. 89. Just caught the blue there, sent the white closer to the cushion than it would have liked. 89. Perfect. 96. Now you could play the stun here. Get that cue ball back to where it is now. Choice of two reds. And again, couldn't have played it much better than that. 
104. Applause for the century, but everybody waiting for the maximum. Kirk Stevens made one against Jimmy White in a classic semi-final at the conference centre here at the Masters way back in 1984. And lost the match. White responding with a century of his own in the following frame to clinch victory on that occasion. Made sure he was high on the red there. Now needs a good angle on the black to be able to get to the yellow. They can leave the cue ball somewhere where the red is, maybe even screw it back an inch or so. And that's perfect. 130. Wouldn't they love to see a maximum? Test of nerve as much as skill now. What a break this has been. And listen to the crowd. Perfect position, they're excited. We're excited. And I'm sure Stuart Bingham, having long since lost the frame, is rooting for Marco Fu to write yet another chapter in snooker history here with the perfect break. 125. Yeah, just got to make sure of being the right side of the blue here. The blue not on its spot. And that's just about right. What a break this has been. He's never been in trouble. Absolutely superb. One routine black away from a master's maximum. There it goes. Magnificent. The crowd on their feet and no wonder. Stuart Bingham. Congratulates Marco Fu. What a way to go to the interval. What a wonderful century. A perfect century. 15 reds, 15 blacks and all the colours. And it all means that Marco Fu is the maximum man at the Masters. He takes a 3-1 interval lead. But he has written his name into the Masters history books with that wonderful break. Congratulations to him.